you may want to add some kind of prop to your agent, like a weapon. Here I have a paladin that I found on Mixamo. The agent node is already set up and I've also added a clip where he swings the sword. But there is no sword here. Let's see how we can add a sword to our paladin. In Houdini we have something called agent layers that we can use to add objects or create variations for our agent. Let's press tab and create an agent layer node. Plug it into the agent clip node and your character will disappear. Don't panic, we'll fix it in a moment. When we create an agent in Houdini with the agent node, it automatically creates a layer called default, which is the character itself, the body of our character. With this agent layer node, we are going to add objects or props on top of that default layer, thereby creating a new layer. Let's display the agent layer node and turn on the source layer parameter. Our paladin will appear again in the viewport. With this, we are telling Houdini that the new layer we are about to create will be using as template the default layer, meaning our character. And the other thing we have to do is give this new layer a name. By default, it's called new underscore layer. But let's put something more descriptive, like sword layer 01. Okay, so now, where can I get a sword? I'm not very good at modeling, so I'll go to Sketchfab and download this beautiful sword made by someone who, for sure, is a better modeler than me. What I want to do is import this sword into Houdini. We'll go to the OBG context by clicking here. This geometry node that we called Agent Setup is where we are setting up our agent. We could go ahead and import the sword in this Agent Setup node we already have. But to keep everything tidy and organized, I'm going to create a new one called Layer Setup. In this one, we set up our agent. And in this one, we set up our layers. Now let's double click to go inside. Press the Tab key and create a new file node. We'll use the file node to import files into Houdini. Click on the geometry file parameter and select your sword. The sword is huge compared to my agent. So I'm going to add a transform node, connect it to the file node and display it. I'm going to change now the uniform scale parameter to, for example, 0.01. But it's still very big for my character, so I'll decrease the scale by adding one more zero. Now it looks like a toothpick, very small, so I'll set this to 0.005. That's better. Next step is to put the sword in my paladin's hand. So I have to rotate and translate the sword. I can do that with this same transform node, placing the pointer in the viewport and entering the edit mode by pressing the enter key. I can use now these controllers, this axis, to move the sword and rotate it. By default, the ghost mode is turned on in Houdini. That's why I can see my character here semi-transparent. We want to make sure that the sword is in the right place. So go to this icon here on the top right corner of the viewport and change it to show all objects. This will display our agent in full opacity. Every node in the OBG context that is turned on will be visible now from inside of any node. With the ghost other objects, 
only the objects in this node will be displayed in full opacity. The rest will be semi-transparent. And in case we want to see only the objects in this node, we select Hide Other Objects. As I said, I want to show all objects to make sure my sword is in the right place. Let's hit Enter again to enter the edit mode and adjust the sword. If there is any intersection with the fingers or something like that, don't worry too much. The good thing about crowds is that we are mostly a background thing, so you don't get to see all those details. Great, our sword is ready. But the problem now is that there is no relationship between the sword and the agent. Let's create now a null node and connect it to the transform node. This null node doesn't do anything, but <laughs> it's best practice to close a node chain with a null. I'm going to call it out underscore sword. Let's go back to the OBG context and dive into the agent setup. I'll change this to ghost mode so I can see what's going on. The sword will now be semi-transparent because it's not inside the agent setup node. Select the agent layer node and scroll down to the layer bindings parameter. Here is where we add objects to our layer. Click on the plus button and you'll see some new parameters. The transform name is the part of the body where we want to attach our object. The sword is going to be attached to the right hand. So open the list and select right hand. Then check the add shape box because we want to add a new shape, our sword, to this new layer. In the sub path parameter, select the out sword node. That's the good thing about nulls. They don't do anything, but it's an easy way to find your nodes. The sword is not here yet. The final step is to give it a name in the shape name parameter. Sword. And voila, the sword will be added to this new layer that we've called sword layer 01. Sometimes when we add the shape, like in this case the sword, it doesn't appear where it should. If that is your case, turn off this option called keep position when attaching and then turn it on again. Sometimes Houdini just goes nuts, you know. And now if I press play, let me hide the other objects so we see only what we have here. Here we have our paladin swinging his sword. The good thing about this is that the sword will inherit the motion of its parent, which is the right hand, so it will move in a very realistic way. Awesome! So we now have two layers. The default one, which is the base layer, just the body of my character without any props, and the sword layer 01, which is the body with the sword. We can add as many layers as we want and later on in our simulation randomize those layers so that each agent has a different one. That's how we get variation which is something we always look for in crowd. For example, I could add a new agent layer node and connect it to my node chain. I would call this new layer sword layer 02 and repeat the process with a different kind of sword. 